What's going on everybody? In today's video, we're going to cover the legend of Glitterbeard. Glitterbeard is actually based off of a real person that worked at Rare. His name is James White. I will link down the official story from Sea of Thieves in the description below. James passed away in March of last year, so Rare took it upon themselves to memorialize him as Glitterbeard in the game. Fair warning, this is actually really kind of sad, and at the end of the video we do show you the final location, so you can use this guide up until there if you don't want to spoil it for yourself. The first journal is actually located at any outpost in the game. We pick Sanctuary Outpost because the second journal is also on Sanctuary. What you're going to want to do is you're going to go into the tavern, make a right, and then right on the bench you're going to find the first journal. I recommend reading them. There's four parts to each journal. It is kind of a long read, but it is quite worth it at the end. Next thing you're going to want to do is walk out of the tavern, make a right down the staircase. You're going to find two little dinghy boats, and in between them is going to be your second journal. The next location is going to be on Smuggler's Bay. All you have to do is pull into the bay itself, and then right on the beach next to some barrels, you're going to find a third journal. The next location is going to be Crescent Isle. You're going to go into the tunnel. You're going to find a cooking station and across from the cooking station is going to be a barrel that has your fourth journal. Next place you're going to have to go is Golden Sands Outpost. Right across from the tool shop on a rock, you're going to find the fifth journal. This next location actually has two books. It's going to be Reaper's Hideout. You're going to find the main walkway. You're going to walk up, and on the left side, there's going to be a boulder. On the bottom of the boulder is going to be your sixth journal. After you're done with the boulder, you're going to go to the south side dock, and right on the dock, you'll find your seventh journal. Next island you're going to have to go to is going to be Castaway Isle. This one's really simple. All you're going to do is go to the beach. Right on the beach on the sand you'll find the next journal. This next one is also just as simple. You're going to pull up the Steven Spoils and it's right on a shelf. The next location is going to be Paradise Springs. In the middle of the island, you're going to find a little pool, and it's right on the rock. Next island is Cutlass K. Right at the end of the island, next to barrels on a rock, you're going to find the next journal. Next location is going to be Thieves Haven. On the outer ring on the eastern side, you're going to find a broken down boat. That's where you're going to find your next journal. Next location is going to be Booty Isle. Towards the center of the island, there's going to be three barrels, and it's sitting right on top of the left barrel. Next location is going to be Shark Bait Cove. Right next to Derek and Merrick's camp on the outer western ring, you're going to find your next journal. Your next location is going to be Discovery Ridge on the tail end by the shipwreck. There's going to be a camp and it's right next to the camp. Your next location is going to be Plunder Valley right under the Eagle Mountain Rock under the waterfall. That's where you're going to find your next journal.
right after Plunder Valley, you're going to go over to Plunder Outpost. Right next to the Gold Hoarders is going to be a campfire. Right on the beach, that's where you're going to find your next journal. Your next island is going to be Crook's Hollow. At the top of the island, there's going to be a few trees and barrels. That's where you're going to find your next location. Next location is going to be Daggertooth Outpost. Right on the beach next to the campfire, you're going to find your next journal. Next, you're going to head to Old Faithful Isle. At the top arch next to a dead tree and a lantern, you're going to find your next journal. The last journal that you're going to find is going to be a Galleon's Grave Outpost. It's right on the dock on a barrel. The final location is back on Plunder Valley. You're going to find an ornament tree, and around the tree there's going to be eight circles. You're going to need one player in each circle, and you're going to have to play the instruments accordingly. North and South are going to be Hurdy Gurdy, East and West are going to play Banjo, Northwest and Southeast are Accordion, Southwest and Northeast are going to play the drums. The best way to find the circles is standing on the South Circle with your compass out and assigning everyone accordingly. The last piece of the puzzle is everybody waits till about the last 10 seconds of sun, the Hurdy Gurdy starts playing Becalmed, and then everybody joins it. Yeah, that's I'm making sure my thing is heavy as f***. Oh the tree's lighting up. I'm breaking my f***ing mouse button over here. About to duct tape my hands to my mouse. Just, just glue left click down. This is sad as hell. In case you guys didn't know, this is a real person that they're memorializing. Damn, this the Jesus tree. Look at the circle. Keep, oh, keep, shit. Man. I didn't keep going, going, keep going. Keep playing, keep playing. Isn't this technically like press F to pay respects? Keep it going. Don't stop. Just keep going, man. Don't stop. Don't stop. It's gonna dim out. Don't stop. Keep playing. Keep playing. Don't you better but go on that f***ing button, bro. Stop. Oh, keep playing, keep playing, don't stop. Keep going, keep Turn going. around. Uh, Alright, keep playing, keep playing. Keep, keep playing, going. keep going. Keep playing. Just keep playing. We good. It's we're, we're good, doing. we're good. I bet. Nah, good yeah. shit. Good shit. Yeah. <laughs> So this is uh, Glitterbeard's hideout. The final journal's right here. That's nice. This is so sad. Read it. This is a real thing. Damn, this is some heavy shit. What the f Yeah, man. Yo, for real. So if you guys look up James White, Dev, this is like a eulogy. What the? F yeah. Is? Oh shit. If you guys look up James White for rare, they did a whole post on him, and they basically memorialized him in the game because that's what his f family wanted. That's crazy.
He was one of I the... just... Go ahead. I locked his beard. Okay. This shit's dead. Damn, this is like a fucking funeral. Yeah, that was oh, fuck. I just realized. Damn. This is definitely one of the saddest and coolest things wow, I've ever had to do in a video game. I really recommend going and reading the Sea of Thieves official post. This way you can learn about James White and who he was and why this was such a cool thing to do. Yeah, after you read the journal. Thank you everybody for watching. Please subscribe or like the video. I really do appreciate everybody that's been watching the video so far. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, right there. That's, that's basically what he looked like in real life.